Good day! My name is Nicole Natividad and in this video, I am going to perform the obstetrics return demo which includes calculating the OB score, AOG, EDD, and BMI. Let's start off with our case. First, let's give the OB score of our patient. So G for gravidity or gravida refers to the total number of pregnancies regardless of the outcome. P for para or parity refers to the labors they have experienced. And it is further broken down into term deliveries, preterm deliveries, abortion, and living children, which yields the mnemonic TPAL. P for term deliveries after the completion of 37 weeks gestation. P for premature preterm deliveries, that's 20 weeks to the completion of 37 weeks gestation. A refers to the spontaneous or elective abortion or ectopic pregnancies before 20 weeks, and L for currently living children. So our patient is currently pregnant wherein she consulted for prenatal care today, and she has three children. So that's three living children, three term deliveries since it was delivered at 37 weeks, and this is also our third parity. And one abortion since she had history of pelvic laparotomy for ectopic gestation. So, she has no premature or preterm delivery. So, the OB score of the patient would be G5, P3, 3013. So, G5, P3, 3013, that would be the OB score of our patient. Next is we compute for the AOG or age of gestation. So, first, let's identify the LMP or the last menstrual period. That was last February 8, 2021. Present date, that's September 15, 2021. And all we have to do is to count the number of days between the LMP and the present date. So February has 28 days, subtract it with 8, that will give us 20 days. March has 31 days, April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31, and September has 15 days. And that will give us a total number of 219 days divided by 7 since there are 7 days in a week. And our age of gestation by LMP is 31 and 2 over 7 weeks. Next, let's compute for the EDD or estimated date of delivery using the Nigel's rule. Let's identify the LMP that was last February 8, 2021. Add it with 7 days, that's February 15, 2021. Subtract it with 3 months, that's November 15, 2020. And add it with 1 year, that's November 15, 2021. So our EDD or estimated date of delivery is November 15, 2021. Last is less compute for the BMI or body mass index. The formula is kilogram over meter squared. The current weight of the patient is 51 kilograms and there is no pregnancy weight gain and the height is 5 feet. Let's convert 5 feet into meters that will give us 1.52 meter and now we can solve for the BMI. 51 divided by 1.52 squared will give us a BMI of 22.07 which is interpreted as normal.